Okay. Oh, no. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hello, everyone. Today Hello. I'm here with Kazi. We are going to talk about health insurance in Luxembourg. How does it work? How we can get reimbursed and what coverage it has. So, mm -hmm. do you want to start and introduce yourself and the experience you had with the insurance here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you are a student, they will offer you the government, the government says? The, yeah, it's CNS, they the, call it CNS. The yeah. health insurance from yes. the government. Yes. That covers most of the things. If mm -hmm. you are not sick, if you don't need a treatment, it will cover almost every doctor. And uh, it's it's good. It's good enough. Mm -hmm. It's not expensive. Mm -hmm. So the How much university, do you pay? the university will charge you directly. So mm -hmm. you don't need to go and uh, fill the form mm -hmm. uh, in the office, in the health insurance office. You will have to do it directly in the university when you pay the university fees every it's semester. Yes. Uh, they will charge you for the health insurance. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you will receive your card, your CNS card, directly to your address here in Luxembourg. Mm. So that's the first thing. You need to pay that uh, community or mm -hmm. health insurance from the government. Mm -hmm. If you need more uh, a protection, if you need maybe another health insurance, you can buy another one from any private company. You can do that or if you need any specific medicine or a, spe a specific treatment, or maybe do one more coverage for uh, dentist procedures, or for, I don't know, eyes, yes. uh, surgeries, you can pay an extra health insurance, but now we are gonna talk about the, the government, the health insurance mm -hmm. from the government yes. here in Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the policy analysis. And we are not experts in health insurance and stuff. Uh, if you need very specific, uh, you need to ask directly. But in general, around 200 to 300 euros per semester, you're going to pay for your health insurance, uh, which I, I believe that is a fair money, uh, considering the um, services they offer for your health insurance. And yeah, your tuition fees would be around 200. And then for summer, summer semester, you're going to pay a bit more like 300 for the winter semester mm -hmm. a bit less because the duration it will be different and then at the end you need to go to the cns uh, website and order your insurance card which you at the first you will receive two cns cards one is european card which have like a uh, what the deadline, deadline? No, okay, expiry but, uh, date. okay let's let's rewind a little bit um okay so you will receive the CNS card, right? But you can ask for an international CNS card. It's not international, not all countries, just for uh, European Union, you can use it. And this has had mm -hmm. expiry date. But there is one without uh, expiry date, you need to use it, it's the same card. I don't know that it has just a one social security number, but if you go to like a, to a pharmacy, and you need to pay it and say that yeah show me the one with, with the luxembourgish one but basically it's the same that the other one has like the background with uh expiry date and it's mentioned that is for european union okay as, yeah as i was saying before mm -hmm. okay um if you are going to travel to any country in the european union you can ask for this international uh health insurance card which means that if you have any accident outside uh, they will um, they will see this and i think they will charge you i'm not sure if they will charge you or not but it is uh, a percentage is covered by mm -hmm. the cns yeah. uh, so they know that you have an an insurance in luxembourg mm -hmm. in the european union mm -hmm. so you are covered you are yes. still covered yes. even yes. if you're traveling outside mm -hmm. luxembourg so if you want to make an appointment with any doctor, you can go to this web page. Shahin will put it here in the comments. Uh, it's doctena.lu, anything. You can ask for any, any doctor there. Mm -hmm. So what is the procedure? You go there, you make an account, uh, you ask for the appointment, and you have, to, you, you have different filters. So 
-hmm. you can look for a doctor for the speciality of course and then by uh, language so if you are international student and you only talk in english you can filter in the web page uh, the doctor that talk on your language and actually they have a ton of languages there they talk e uh, persian french uh, german english spanish okay. uh, portuguese like and really if you're lucky if you talk any of these languages probably you will find a doctor that also speak your language so you will be more comfortable talking to a doctor because sometimes it's difficult to uh, express uh, the symptoms mm. and everything else in point, a, yeah. in another language yeah. Uh, so yeah you can filter in that web page you also can filter by uh, language and of course by location so if you want to most of the doctors are located in the capital in Luxembourg City yeah. but also you can find doctors in any other yeah. these little towns around Luxembourg so if you can find a doctor closer to your home that is also possible and you can find everything in this web page another thing is uh, the time if you need a doctor right away if you need a doctor two weeks later three weeks later how is this work so normally in my experience normally if you need a doctor right away it's better to go straight to a hospital if you really need it like right away and like emergency just go to uh, a hospital but if you can wait you can ask for the appointment and normally a uh, general medicine doctor will take like maybe one week in the schedule for you but there's most of the doctors like uh, different specialities they will have an appointment maybe three weeks later or maybe a month later and also there is um, uh, another specialities like uh, what is the doctor's name the mm -hmm. for I the colon know. i don't know the uh, stomach doctor the stomach doctor and you, you can start talking about yeah, the, the, for the example, colon doctor yeah the, for, for the stomach you need to wait for two months and i also i should mention that not all doctors in luxembourg or index or registered in that website but many of them are registered and the good point is that you can filter out as uh, cousin mentioned that you can filter your language that you want to speak not all of them speak in english not all of them for example if you need a psychologist and you want to talk with uh, to your doctor in your own mother tongue uh, because you want to like make yourself make sure that you can make yourself understood and should be in your mother tongue you can filter out and see which doctors talk in your language so we discuss how you can make an appointment with doctors and if the doctor is not available in the doctor website you can and you know the uh, phone number you can call them directly and but for students the best i think work that you go directly to the doctor website and reserve your appointment to visit the doctor and then you see the time slot which are free and you can reserve it so you can uh, arrange it depending on the, your availabilities mm -hmm. um, you can find also uh, doctors that offer uh, online appointments so if you don't want to go there uh, physically you can if, if you think that you can explain your symptoms uh, in these online meetings you can do that you have that option know with every doctor you have to also filter that option that if you, if the doctor has uh, available the option of online appointments or not and then when you go to, uh, to these appointments with doctors you need to show the cns card and the secretary will charge you so you need to pay a hundred percent of the bill you need to pay yes okay that's that's the deal they don't make the discount directly there you need to pay a hundred percent of the bill normally a doctor will charge you around 50 to 80 just for the appointment that amount in this final bill so the bill will have the, the amount okay how much the doctor will charge just for make the appointment and the other things that the doctor did mm -hmm. 
in the appointment to you. Mm -hmm. So you have to take this bill and pay 100% to uh, the secretary, right? Yes, how much was the minimum and the maximum you are, uh, already paid in the... The minimum I paid was uh, for a uh, general medicine doctor, it was around 50. And the maximum is a specialist, uh, around 80. And then if you need a prescription, they charge around 10 euros more for a prescription. Don't be afraid, you need to pay 100% of the bill. It will be around, uh, that is the minimum, right? We talk about the minimum. But normally, if you're going to the doctor, you have to be prepared to pay around 100. A little more, a little less. I have paid, the, I think the maximum, I have paid uh, 150, it was for the dentist. And the minimum around 50, right? 50 or 60. So you need to be prepared to pay 100% of the bill. What is the procedure after that? So you receive the invoice from the doctor that you have paid that amount and later you need to, for example, three to doctors you have gone and you want to get reimbursement and you uh, put all of your invoices in one envelope and close it. If it is your first time, you need to also add your RIB or the bank uh, details document uh, plus some other you can find out in a CNS website I put the link in the description of the video and you send it and after for the first time and then later uh, for the second and third time you need to just put the invoices mm -hmm. in one envelope and send it by post to the CNS address one of the CNS addresses or uh, there are many places that CNS has its own uh, branch or offices and you can directly go there and outside the office they have one small box or post box yellow, and yellow just box. directly we can, we can put, put the, here the picture the yes. the box mm -hmm. you can just put there for free you don't need to pay anything mm -hmm. just put the the inbox inside this envelope mm -hmm. close it put the address of the CNS office and just put the envelope there. Mm -hmm. Normally for an appointment is 88%, but for different procedure, they have different percentage. And you can check it out in the mm -hmm. CNS website for mm -hmm. different procedures. For example, that, that for, is covered yes, by the, for, for, by for the health glasses, insurance. they recently changed. For example, was uh, before was a percentage, but now they pay, I think, 30 euro for, for the lens and 30 euro for the frame. It doesn't matter how much uh, you pay for your glasses. So it's not a percentage or the amount, just 30 euro for the lens and every year. And yeah, but you can check it out mm -hmm. in the, 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 because all the time is changing. And they have also a long list for the, uh, the medicine. So medicine normally is mm -hmm. from 88% to some of them is 50%, it depends. The type of medicine that you want to get it from the pharmacy. So it has different percentage. But mm -hmm. for the appointment, basically, uh, most of the time you have 88%. So you are almost paying nothing. So it's, I think it's very good even you are, you're paying 100 uh, euro for your appointment. At the end, they pay you, for example, 88 euro. So mm -hmm. it's a good amount. So you are not going to pay that much for a doctor appointment in Luxembourg. Yeah, I know that it could be a little, uh, I don't know, harsh in the beginning mm -hmm. that you're going to the doctor and you have to pay this really expensive bill. But in the end, when you make all these procedures, you send the import and you wait these two or three weeks, you will have the, this percentage back uh, directly on your bank account. So normally this procedure in this time and Luxembourg is doing this really well, even though I think in my opinion, I think it's better just to go to the doctor and they will calculate directly how much you have to pay. If you have any questions about uh, the blood test and uh, you don't have to pay in the laboratory, uh, when you're going to the doctor, the doctor will charge you um, uh, for the exams, for the blood test, 
And when you go, when you take the prescription and go to the laboratory that is, it is everywhere mm -hmm. in Luxembourg, um, you just go with the prescription and they're, they're not going to charge you more mm -hmm. money. No, so it's already included. For in my experience, I didn't have to pay anything else. I hope that you like this video and just uh, we are thinking maybe next week or in two weeks make a Q&A video. So if you have any questions, you can just put here in the comments and we are happy to answer these questions in the next video. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching this bye video. Bye-bye. <laughs> what I should do? I feel and I cannot find any. And we need to be shorter video, like 15 minutes. Don't make it very long.